Hey y'all. Hey, come on in. This will be a um, fairly quick tutorial. I'm excited to show you guys. Let me know y'all are in here and that y'all can hear me well. Let me know you can hear me good. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey, is that Shawana? Hey Shawana. Hey sis, hey precious. Hey girl, hey. Hey Kim. Hey Miss Bailey, hey sis. So this will be a really quick, a fairly quick uh, tutorial. Really straightforward, straight to the point. Um, yes. Yeah. So y'all come on in. I hope you had a good day today. Um, those that are watching the replay, thank you for joining in and watching the replay. Make sure you guys uh, hit the uh, the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I go live or if, whenever I have a, a recording. Um, and I hope I said it right. <laughs> um, let me let me know, Shawan, if I said it right. Um, but yes, so this will be a quick recording. Okay, she said yes, that's going to be awesome. Hey, um, I'm not sure who that is. Oh, is that Tia? Hey, hey girl, hey. Thank y'all for joining in. Hit the and hit the like button. <laughs> this will be a really quick uh, live. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And if y'all have any questions, make sure y'all ask them below. Um, I did uh, before starting this live. I've had this pattern for many years, right? So this is the pattern. I've had it for years. And so I didn't know that it was, and it was a free pattern when I purchased it. I mean, when I got it, it was a free pattern. And um, so now when I went to look it up, I didn't think about it. When I went to look it up, it is no longer there, right? Uh, or I didn't see it there. So maybe it's for newcomers only, right? So if you don't, if you don't mind going in, um, after the live and looking up the Lucy Rumper and it had and it's by props props by posies okay so it's by props by posies and when I tell y'all it is definitely a, a great um, addition to add to your um, Etsy shop or boutique or whatever or if you're just making it for a friend this is really good um but again, this was a free pattern that I downloaded many years ago um, and has been a good seller for me in the years and prior years. But now I have friends that are having babies and I wanted to knock some of these out, right? So um, if you don't see it there, it was a free pattern. I'm going to try to locate it on my drive. And again, I, it's probably on one of my, um, what do you call those things? Those uh, things you put in your computer to hold everything. I guess that would be a flash drive, flash drive. So I'm going to go through all of my flash drives and see if I have it there. And if I do, um, if y'all don't mind, uh, follow me on Facebook at So So Cute. Beginner Friendly Sewing Group, send me a message and I will definitely get this free pattern to you, okay? So I do apologize about that, but if I cannot find it and you want it, I could ship this to you. Just let me know because again, it was a free pattern. All right. So let's see. Hey, Miss Sally. Okay, thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Um, hey y'all, hey. hey. Hey, Angeline. Okay, so here we go. So what you're going to need, this is what we're going to create today. We're going to create this tiny newborn rumper. And again, this rumper is lace, so you can see through it, right? So this is more of a prop. 
This is more of the one where the babies go to um, take their pictures, their newborn pictures, and then they have this on. They remove the diaper, hurry up and take a quick picture, and boom, they got this, right? So this is, this is what we're going to learn how to create today using lace fabric. So you're gonna need lace fabric and preferably lace fabric that has holes in them, okay? Where you can weave your ribbon in and out. So preferably um, lace fabric that has holes in them. So even if your lace fabric does not have holes in them and you like that lace, material, kind of like this one that I'm going to show you. Uh, give me a second. All right, so here is some lace-like material here. It has holes in it, but it is very small, tiny holes. It's nothing you can put in there. Guess what? This lace material is, is non-fraying, so you can cut little snips all through it and weave in your ribbon at the top, right? So I am going to do that with this one at a later time, but you can cut snips inside of it uh, on the fabric and then it'll ruch up just like that and then you'll have your rumper, right? Okay, so, and also for this one, this one is a lace base as well. If I come closer, you'll see it's a lace base. Um, and this kind of has a stretch to it here. Um, the other lace that I have, it is not stretch. Um, I think the one that I'm going to use today does stretch just a little bit. But here is this one. And again, it does not have holes in it, right? So what I'm going to do is go in and cut little snips throughout here because it does not fray. And then I'm going to put my ribbon in there and then you'll see how it is right just like that okay so this is what we're going to create today i've made a total of 10 of these in in less in about an hour i was talking to one of my friends today and again um miss precious and again it was like 10 it was like i made 10 of them in less than an hour right uh and i'm only speaking of constructing it so it'll take about five minutes or so to add in the ribbon. So this is what we're gonna do today. You're gonna need your pattern. And again, here is the pattern. You're also going to need your ribbon. And again, you can use a uh, smaller ribbon or lar the larger ribbon. You just gotta make sure it fit through those holes. I'm going to use, I guess this may be the uh, inch uh, one inch ribbon or an inch and a half ribbon. That's what I'm going to use today. And it's just a gross grain. You can use the regular satin. It's totally up to you. And so I'm going to leave it on this roll because I'm not going to measure how much I need until after I feed it through. So we have our ribbon. We have our pattern piece. Um... Hey, Miss Tammy. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing much to it. You're going to need your scissors. You're also going to need a small safety pin. I mean, you can go even smaller if you want, depending on the holes, right? The holes that are in there. You're also going to need some wonder clips. If you do not have wonder clips, you can use pins, okay? So it's totally up to you. Wonder clips or pins. If you are a beginner sewer, this is a perfect project for you as we are only going to do three seams, okay? Three seams only. And we're going to use a sewing machine only. And the sewing machine that I'm gonna use is a regular brother machine, sewing machine I got from Walmart. At the time it was $79, uh, $75, now it's $85. It's still a good machine. And then I'm gonna have matching thread. This is the fabric I'm going to use today, which is the mint green uh, lace material. And uh, is there anything else I need? Uh, oh, your sewing machine. Make sure you set it on a um, like a zigzag stitch or some type of stretch stitch, like an overlock stitch. 
and that's it can you use a straight stitch yes you can but i prefer using a zigzag stitch or some type of overlock stitch uh, because it is uh lace right so it can kind of move around so i would say use a zigzag stitch or some type of overlock stitch can you use your serger yes you definitely can use your serger uh, but i'm going to use a sewing machine only all right do we have any questions before I get started? Make sure y'all hit that uh, like, the, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna get my lace fabric. And again, this is some scrap that I had remaining. All you need is some scrap pieces. So I'm gonna get my lace fabric. And this is my folded edge here. I'm gonna open it up so you can see. Here is the inside, which is the right side of the fabric. And here is the wrong side. I folded it over just like this. I fold it over. And now that's gonna give me one because this pattern tells you to cut two of these out on the fold so we're going to cut two out on the fold okay so this is i fold it over once so that'll give me one i want to cut two out at one time so all i'm going to do is i'm going to fold over again now it's up to you how you want to cut your fabric out but for me i'm going to cut both out at the same time right and again i hope everybody's having a good day whether you watch it now or later or watching the replay play i hope you're having a good day so we now have our pattern our fabric folded over so i can cut two out at the same time now i'm going to get this lucy pattern and again if you can go in and find it kudos to you if you can't there, that's no problem. I'll make sure I find a way of getting this to you. It was a free pattern, and I would love to share this free, free pattern with you guys. All right. So, here we go. So, here is my folded edge here to my left-hand side. I'm going to place the fold. As you can see right here, it says cut on the fold. So, this is the folded edge. I'm going to lay it down just like this. I'm going to get my wonder clips and I'm just going to clip it right here to the side. Oh, I'm sorry. You're also going to need your iron and ironing board. And I'll show you when you're going to need it. Right, so we want to make sure that that's even. And add your wonder clip. All right. Um, the next step is you're going to get a couple pins just to kind of keep it from shifting and you're going to pin it. All right, so I'm just going to place about three pins here just to keep it from moving. Just like that. Next step, you can get your rotary cutter or you can use a pair of scissors. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut all the way. I'm going to cut here straight across. Well, actually, I'm not going to even cut this because I love how it frays right here. You see that little, I mean, well, it's not fraying like it'll come apart, but it's like it gives it like a vintage style, right? So I'm not going to even cut that part off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut Give me one second. That was off a little bit. I'm going to cut around this section here, straight across and straight up. And make sure you cut through all the layers. Again, your rotary cutter will be perfect for this as well. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm going to go in here and kind of zigzag this a little bit to make it kind of look even. Again, you don't have to do this part though. All right. So I left this little frayed edge up here so it can look a little vintage, right? I love the way that that looks. So next step is we're going to remove our pins. Do not throw your scrap fabric away because you can make this, you can use this to make a headband and some barefoot sandals to go with it. So do not throw your scrap pieces away. All right, so now that I have it cut out, I should have now a total of two pieces. So here is my front or back and here is my back so I have two pieces cut out my next step is I'm going to lay one the bottom one which will be my um, the back it's gonna when you open it up it's gonna look just like this right so I have my back piece cut out my pretty side is facing up so as you can see the pretty side of the lace is facing up now I'm gonna get the other one, the other piece, and I'm gonna lay it pretty sides facing down. So now the pretty sides are touching. So the pretty sides are touching now, just like that. And what we're gonna do now is, if you are a beginner, I say pin like you never pin before. So I'm gonna put a few pins in it but I want to only focus mainly on this crotch area. We don't want the crotch area to come undone, okay? So since we don't want the crotch area to move, we're going to get a couple of clips or you can use or you can use your uh, your pins. Totally up to you. But if you have clips, I I would say use your clips. So I'm just going to put a few clips there. Now, you can use pins and, and pin down right here. If you don't have clips, pins will work. So I'm just gonna put a couple pins just to keep this from shifting. I no longer use pins um, for this side, but I do always use clips and only put about two or three just to keep it from shifting, right? So for those that are beginners, I say pin, 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 pin. So that's what we're doing now, making sure that it's, it's even, and we're going to pin. And I'm pinning away from the edge. So that as I'm sewing, I don't have to remove the pin. All right, so now my next step is Hey y'all, thank you for joining in. The next step is we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a zigzag stitch or a overlock stitch or you can use your serger and sew all the way down. If you're using the sewing machine, make sure to back stitch. Sew using a quarter inch seam allowance all the way down, all the way down until you get here and we're going to back stitch, okay? So you're gonna do that on both sides. Then after you have done both sides, you're gonna come back here in the middle and you're going to make sure you do the same thing using about a quarter inch seam allowance and you're gonna sew or serge all the way around using your overlock stitch, zigzag stitch, or your serger, okay? Do we have any questions? All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and we're going ahead and sew it up. Make sure I put right sides together. It looks like I did. All right. So we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and we are going to sew all the way down using a zigzag stitch.
Make sure the back stitch. And we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure the back stitch when you get to the end. Cut your thread. And we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the same exact thing. Make sure to back stitch, quarter inch seam allowance. When you get to the top, make sure you back stitch. is we're going to sew the crotch area here. We're gonna sew this up now. Make sure when you turn in your corners, that curved area at the crotch part, that you take your time, okay? Still a quarter inch seam allowance. Remove your clips as you go. And make sure to backstitch. Guess what? We are done with the sewing machine, right? Or if you use a serger, you're done with your serger. Next step is we're gonna remove our pins. And then we are going to, if you like, you can trim down from the seam that you just, or the stitch that you just created, or you can leave it there because it is soft, right? It won't interfere. If you are going to sell this, make sure you, and you're using a sewing machine, Make sure you use a disclaimer letting them know this was handmade using a sewing machine only. So they'll know that the edges are not finished, but they do not fray. Okay? So make sure you let them know that so that you won't have to worry about them saying, I got an unfinished product. Okay? Um, all right, so now I've cut the thread from all the, wherever I had thread hanging, I'm looking at mine and I sewed it up at a quarter of an inch. So it's close to the edge, but not off the edge, right? So I am not going to trim anything down, right? But one thing I am going to do is I am going to snip. Just take a little bit off this curved edge here. And that's so that it can lay flat in the middle. Now you can snip it, like give it a few little snips, or you can just trim around it, right? So you just have to see where it is that you did not sew and just kind of trim around it. All right, so now that I have that trim, my next step is to flip this right sides out. Hey! So now I'm just gonna place my fingers in the inside, flip it out, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Just reach in there and turn it right sides out. All right, now that I have it turned right sides out, my next step is I'm going to press it. You can use your iron or if you have a heat press, since this is so tiny, you can lay it up under your heat press and press it down. I'm just going to use my iron. And press it down. Um, just in case you're asking, well, how much 
do you charge for this? I am one of those people that kind of work like a non-profit organization or I love to do a lot of charity work. I love to give a lot back. So my prices may be different than yours, but um, I would say that if you sell this in a, as a gift box um, together with like a headband and some... Um, a headband and some barefoot sandals or something like that for the newborn, then I would say nothing under um, a whole set, nothing under $35 for this, right? Um, they sell really well for newborns. So if, you're, if you love sewing for children, that's probably why you're here. And this will sell. Make sure your packaging is Cute, cute, beautiful, and you'll be all right. All right. So now that we have this done, we have it ironed down. Our next step is to get our our uh, ribbon. So I'm using a gross grain ribbon, and I think this is about an inch, um, an inch ribbon. I'm going to get my safety pin and I'm going to get a smaller size safety pin and I am just going to push it through here. I don't know how many inches you want, uh, how long you want your ribbon to be. So I never cut mine because I don't know if I want the, the um, tail of the ribbon to be long or I want it short. It depends on who I'm creating it for, right? So what we're gonna do now is find where the middle section is of your romper. And then you're just gonna go up and right here about an inch away from the top, no more than an inch and a half, okay? So an inch to an inch and a half away from the top is where I am going to start feeding my elastic through. Okay, so. I'm going to start here because here is my middle right here. So about an inch away or an inch and a half away from the top, I'm going to feed my elast uh, my ribbon through. So I'm just going to push it through. And again, you may have to force push it, but it'll go through. Right? Just like that. Then you're going to find another opening and push it through. And this is the only part that takes a little time because you want to make sure that it goes all the way through, right? Just like that. I would typically use one that is not, uh, that is the same color on both sides, but I'm just going to use this for now and then I'll go in and flip it to make sure that the, that it shows on the right side. All right, so now we're gonna go in again, find an opening, push it through. Then you're gonna find another opening, push it through and pull. And again, the, the wider the ribbon, the a little bit harder it is to push it through, but it'll get through there. As long as your pin, your safety pin gets through, it'll go through as well, okay? And just go in there and play around with it and flip it. And we're going to do this same method all the way around. Find a spot. Push it through. Bring it through. And pull. And you're going to keep going till you get all the way around. Do we have any questions? Perfect for baby shower gifts. Okay, 
you're just going to find a hole and push it through. Some of it you may have to create a little hole um, depending on... Let me see where I'm at. There we go. Depending on where it's at, you may have to create you a hole. Make sure you push it through good. All the way through. Just like that. Okay. And you're just going to keep going through the whole thing. Find a hole, push it through. Find another hole, bring it back through. As long as you find a hole, you're good. If you can't, create you a hole. Because this will not fray. It will not unravel. And keep going. Find your hole and push it through. And again, this is more so for props, but if you want them to wear it on a on a day on a day to day, that's fine as well. Just know that they are typically see through. Okay. As you can see, I'm making a hole for this to come through. I love to find free patterns and use those before I purchase patterns because so many out here that don't mind sharing um, what they have. So I'm just going to keep going, pushing it through till I get back to where I first started. Find a hole, push and push it through that hole. Then bring it back through. Some uh, lace, they have holes that are big enough that you could just push it through where you don't even have to worry about going through this, making your own hole. But others, like this one, you have to find a hole. I'm just going to keep pushing it through. And then pushing it through again till I get back around. Um, I can't remember where I got this lace from, but you can get lace just about anywhere. Walmart does sell lace for, um, uh, and they have a stretch lace that will probably be Probably be a little bit more easier to, to deal with. Um, and I think it may be like $7 or so a yard. I know Hobby Lobby has plenty of lace. You could probably try uh, Hobby Lobby out. Um, Joanne's definitely has lace. So just grab you about a yard of lace and it, that yard will probably make you three or four of these. About three or four for a yard. And then again, if you're paying $8 or $10 a yard and you can make three or, uh, and you can make about four, three to four of these, you, you're good. You're doing good. 
and selling them at $35 for the gift set, I think, or more, you're doing real good. Okay, so we're just gonna keep pushing this through. I'm almost back to where I first started. Do we have any questions? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, also, join us over at So So Cute Beginner Friendly Sewing Group, where you can showcase what you create. Uh, also, add advice or tips when sewing, and much more. We currently have a back to school challenge where you create something sewing related that's um, related to back to school and um, the winner will be chosen on August the 1st, the last day to put in your August the 1st of 2002, the last day to put in your uh, entry is on the 31st, July 31st of 2022. All right, so we're still going in and out. We just got this little bit left to go. And again, I thank you guys for joining in. I know it's a Friday. Right, so I'm gonna go down, go in and out one more time. Gonna go in, then I'm gonna come out really close to where I started. Just like that. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm going to cut my thread. And you can go in here and turn it. If it's, uh, if it's not the same color on both sides, you just go in here and flip and turn it to where it matches on the front. And me personally will probably go in and change this to a different type of ribbon. But we're going to make it do what it do. All right. So now that we have that part done, our next step is to tie this in a knot. Crunch it up some, tie it in a knot. Again, I'm not a real good bow tire, but I make it do. Right. So now after you tie it, let's see if I can twist this on. All right. So now after you have tied it up, I don't like that bow, but I'm not a good bow tire until I really, really focus on it. But you make it tighten it up. Then you get your scissors and you cut it kind of even. 
Then you can make a little spike at the bottom if you like. And do that for both. And now your romper is done. So the baby, you would just take this off, take the bow off, and then the baby would just step in it, and you rose, rise it up, raise it up, and then you are done. So really simple, really quick. Uh, again, I'm not the best bow, the best bow uh, maker, so you, you can work this bow however so it can look cute. Um, kind of like how I did on this one. And again, it's better to use the one that's the same on both sides, like this one, or this one. And again, this is gross grain, so it's a little harder. Uh, and also, if you, the one I created on the other day, this one right here, I added some of these little things that I got from Hobby Lobby, some of these little roses that come in a, on a roll. So next week at Hobby Lobby, if you're watching it currently, it is gonna be on sale um, for that roll, half off of that roll. So this will be considered my front and this will be my back with the, with the bow, okay? Or it could be the front here and then this will be the back. And all I did was I used my hand needle and thread and, and uh, stitched it on top of the fabric. But outside of that, that's it. Really simple, really quick quick project. Do we have any questions? If not, and I'm gonna I'm play around with this bow till I, get, till I get it right. But if not, this is how you create the rumper. Let me know if you have any questions and um, you can reach out to me at So So Cute Beginner Friendly Sewing Group or you can email me at cutifuldesigns at gmail.com. That's C-U-T-U-F-U-L designs.com. Okay, if you're in the group already, make sure if you um, create this, post it in the group so we can see it and love on your creations. And until next time, I will chit chat with you guys later. Have a good day. Let me know if you can print out this pattern. If not, again, send me a message and I'll do my best to get it to you. Uh, or we can find a way of getting this pattern to you because these are good sellers. All right. All right, y'all. Bye. Oh, I had questions come out. I didn't even know it. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Um, it's not there, but there are others similar to it. Okay, so she said it's not there, but there are others similar to it. Um, they are a little pricey. Um, there are $19.99, like a pattern, right? That is pretty pricey. So if you, um, you can hack this with a different pattern. And, um, if you don't have $19.99, you can hack it with a different pattern, but in the meantime, I'm going to do my best. I'm definitely going to do my best to see if I can find it, and I will post it and share it in the group. Again, so, so cute, beginner-friendly sewing group. Um, someone asked a question, and I do apologize that they didn't show up. Hey, Miss Bell. Thank you. Thank you, sis, for joining in. Um, thank you, Charlie. Hey, girl. Um, did you make a casing for the ribbon? No, no casing. I just went through the holes. Is there a particular type kind of lace that works better? I love using the lace that has the holes in them more like this, where it has like the larger holes where they go in and out easily. Um, uh, I also prefer using stretch lace over the regular lace, but both work, okay? So if you can't find stretch lace at a good price, then get uh, then get the regular 
lace. The, the, the lace that does not stretch is cheaper than the stretch lace. Um, let me see. Where can you purchase the lace? I think I'll add. I, okay, yeah, so I did put that. Amazon also has some good lace as well. Um, hey, Anita. Okay, thank you, Charlie. Um, thank you, thank you, Precious. Thank you, sis. Thank you, Kim. You're so welcome. All right, so yeah, so it's really simple project. If you have any questions, again, you can look up the pattern at Posey, uh, Posey's by Props, but they no longer, or Props by Posey, but they no longer have it. Again, I got this pattern in 2017. So it's been a long time that I'm just now getting myself back to it because I have friends that are having babies, right? So, um, again, if you can't find this, then you can hack a rumpers pattern and just cut it at the, cut it at the, uh, chest area, okay? So, because this will fit right at the chest area. Um, if not, message me and I'll do my best to try to find it for you and send it to you. But... Anyways, y'all have a good day, good evening, or a good day. And if those watching the replay, I appreciate you, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Yeah, hit the like button. <laughs>